Serving as a protector of Earth for decades and of Asgard for millennia, Thor has been in more battles than almost any superhero in Marvel. Most heroes would struggle to thwart a cosmic entity or an intergalactic empire, but for Thor, it's often mere sport. He may be the god of thunder and the occasional all-father of Asgard, but the Norse champion has come across enemies that were able to hold their own against the founding Avenger. Thor is tough, but he isn't quite unbeatable, even though he's taken down incredible enemies that might make it look like he is. With that in mind, I'm Will for What Culture, and here are the 10 most powerful beings Thor has defeated. 10. Apocalypse, Uncanny Avengers 6 In 1013 AD, Apocalypse made his way to Scandinavia after learning its people possessed a threat to his schemes. Thor happened to be nearby and despite being completely wasted, challenged the demonic mutant, assuming he was just a mindless brute. Because this encounter took place before Thor was armed with Mjolnir, Apocalypse wiped the floor with the Viking god. When Thor realized his axe, Yarnborn, couldn't pierce his enemy's celestial hide, he fled back to Asgard. After seeking consultation, the Thunder God learned that he could place an enchantment on his weapon using his own blood to make it cut through anything. After doing so, he tracked down the celestial powered mutants and demanded a rematch. This time, Thor's axe cut through his rival's chest with ease. Left with no choice, Apocalypse reluctantly retreated. 9. Boar, Thor 600. Centuries ago, Loki had Thor's grandfather Boar turned into snow apparently killing him. Classic Loki, am I right? Then in the modern era, Loki decided to discredit Thor by having him murder his own grandfather in front of the other Asgardians. He uses his dark magic to revive Boar and forced him to see everyone as a threat. After he unleashed his fury upon New York, Thor stepped in to take him down, unaware that this enemy was of his own blood. Boar proved to be one of Thor's greatest adversaries, since he could wheel and hurl Mjolnir with ease. In the final moments of the battle, Thor struck Boar with so much force, a chunk of Mjolnir cracked off. It was only after the fight that Thor realized he was battling his grandfather. Sadly, the impact of Mjolnir was too great, and Boar perished. 8. Hela Thor 361 Thor may be Asgard's champion, but his power pales in comparison to Hela. Not only does the Goddess of Death usually defeat the hammer-hurling Avenger with little effort, but she has actually killed him in the past as well. Even though Thor knows this, he still challenged the Mistress of Death to combat when his friend's souls were trapped in Hell. Unsurprisingly, Hela maintained the upper hand for the majority of the fight, and managed to slash Thor's face to pieces. When Thor pulled off her robe, however, he learned that it served as a conduit for her sorcery, meaning that she was literally powerful without it. Unable to overpower Thor without her enchanted cloak, she admitted defeat and freed his friends. Turns out it's just that easy. 7. Surtur, Mighty Thor 21 Surtur the fire giant has served as the ruler of the fiery realm of Muspelheim for eons. When the fire god declared war on the Nine Realms, Thor vowed to put a stop to his tyranny once and for all. Fusing the indestructible Twilight Sword with Mjolnir, the storm god impaled Surtur through the neck, killing him. Although comic book villains have a tendency to resurrect themselves every fortnight or so, Surtur has been dead and buried for eight years, and thus has been perceived as one of Thor's greatest, lasting triumphs. 6. The Midgard Serpent Thor 360 In Norse mythology, Thor's most defining moment is when he died defeating Jormungandr, the Midgard Serpent, an otherworldly reptile so large its body wrapped around the entire planet. In the comics, the serpent exists in an ethereal version of Earth because, well, if it didn't, it would crush everything in the world in like two seconds. But when this colossal creature partially materialized on the physical plane to challenge Thor to a duel, Asgard's champion had no choice, knowing the serpent was destined to destroy Midgard. Even though Thor knew that he was destined to fall at the hands of the snake, he went for it anyway. Despite the fact he was seemingly poisoned to death by the serpent's venom in the final pages, we all know that heroes never stay dead for long. 5. Gore Thor, God of Thunder 11 Centuries ago, an alien called Gore lost his faith in the gods after his family were killed. After stumbling upon a god-slaying weapon called the Necrosword, Gore vowed to wipe out every deity in existence for failing to save his family. For over a thousand years, Gore the God Butcher traveled the cosmos, exterminating entire pantheons. Every time he executed a god, he absorbed their essence, magnifying his strength to an incalculable level. In fact, he's so powerful, Thor teamed up with two time-displaced versions of himself to fight Gore, and still lost. 
The superhero eventually learned that Gore was building a god bomb that, once detonated, would kill every god in the time stream. Since Thor knew he couldn't beat the god butcher in combat, he tried a different tactic. Because Thor is a god, he is powered by the beliefs of his followers. At least, at this point in the comics, that's how it works. As the gods throughout space and time empowered Thor with their prayers, he absorbed the god bomb into himself before expunging it. He then used the necro sword to decapitate Gore before having his remains hurled into the nearest black hole. Thor, the Demagogue, the mighty Thor 8 to 9. When Thor was murdered by his evil uncle, Kull Borson, a magical spell caused everyone in existence to forget he existed. Any god that is forgotten is transported to a realm outside time and space, where they're consumed by the Demagogue. Despite his best efforts to avoid this fate, Thor was devoured by the ungodly behemoth. Luckily, it takes a little more than killing Thor and eating him to put him down for good. Once in the creature's gut, he raised an army of other deceased gods, attacked the creature's heart, and made it explode. He then returned to Earth and life via a convenient portal. 3. Exitar, Uncanny Avengers 21 even though Thor has encountered his fair share of cosmic entities, he was gobsmacked when he laid eyes on Exitar, the Celestial Executioner, a being so vast his upper body surpassed the clouds. Thor knew he was outmatched, but fought the cosmic colossus head on, managing to breach his shell and decimate his brain casing. Although this left Exitar injured, Mjolnir was shattered and the gigantic exterminator was far from defeated. When Exitar was sent to vanquish Earth, it was Thor's chance to have a rematch. After Rogue absorbed the powers of almost every superhero on Earth, she staggered Exitar long enough for the God of Thunder to slay it with his axe, Yarnborn. 2. Mangog, the Mighty Thor 705 Mangog is basically the culmination of a quadrillion beings Odin killed because they were all evil and going to wipe out the universe. He is one of the strongest entities in existence and is super pissed off at the Asgardians. Even Thor and Odin together proved powerless to stop Mangog. After shattering the Bifrost and destroying most of Asgardia, Jane Foster, better known as the Mighty Thor, hurled the demonic entity into the bowels of the sun. When she realized that the star's intense heat wasn't enough to kill the beast, she wrapped it in the chains forged to bind the Fenris Wolf, and then tied it to Mjolnir, sealing Mangog forever in the core of the sun. 1. Galactus and the Black Winter, Thor 1-6 Shortly after Thor became the All-Father, a heavily injured Galactus visited Asgard, pleading for his help. The World Eater explained that the entity that destroyed his old reality, the Black Winter, had returned to consume all life in the cosmos. Knowing he was powerless to defeat this being in his current state, Galactus endowed Thor with the power cosmic, transforming him into the Herald of Thunder. Despite his godlike power, Galactus was unable to kill the Black Winter. When Thor encountered the celestial being, it revealed that the reason it spared Galactus in the previous universe was so that he could serve as his herald in this one. Upon this revelation, Thor obliterated Galactus then and there. He then converted his energy into a cosmic bomb, which he used to vanquish the Black Winter once and for all. And there you have it folks, the 10 most powerful beings Thor has defeated. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at youslidedogu. I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.